We need to enter and process a batch of gifts using gift entry in NPSV. In previous videos, we learned how to create a gift entry batch and add donations to that batch. Now that we have finished entering all the gifts, let's look at how to process the batch. Processing is the step that tests and then creates the actual opportunities we set up during our gift entry. As a best practice, we will do a dry run to validate that there are no errors with the gift entry batch before we process it. Let's click the batch dry run button in the gift entry highlight panel. Below the gift entry form, we can see the table of the gifts entered. Each gift is validated and the status is updated. If our batch dry run found any issues, the gift will show a status of dry run error and an error message. We can click on the drop down arrow in the gift entry row to either open or delete the gift. If we click open, the gift's details appear in the gift entry form above. We notice this opportunity has an error. We can make the needed edits to the gift and then click update. Our batch should be ready now. Once all of the gifts in the batch are validated, we click the process batch button to complete the processing of the batch. When the batch finishes processing successfully, the status of each gift in the gifts enter table is updated to imported. Let's click on Robbie Chase. First, we see that a new contact was made from the details we entered during the batch entry and the $100 donation Robbie gave under the opportunities related list. We also note that Robbie's new donation will be included in his donation totals after the NPSP nightly rollups run. Or we can run the rollup donation batch in NPSP settings with the batch action. Please check out the NPSP documentation for more information and best practices. Thanks for watching.